Hello, my lovelies. Hopefully the sound quality will be okay. I am not mic'd yet because I want to show you this awesome hairstyle that you have to look forward to tomorrow. Uh, it is the Sivu Plate, uh, named for Miss Shannon and her channel because she was an inspiration for this. So uh, I'm going to show you what this looks like, and then uh, we'll do a quick edit and I can put my mic on. So have a look-see. <laughs> so I am wearing... One of these awesome skirts may read. They work cool. Um, I think it looks super cool. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's totally weaponized. Um, you could take an eye out, so be careful. Any noodles. <laughs> okay, let me get my mic. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, now hopefully everything sounds better because I'm mic'd. All right, uh, this is a thank you video. Also, it is slightly sprinkling right now. I think it is just so humid that I am getting slightly damp, but that's fine. Uh, as long as it doesn't get on, you guys, we're good. It's refreshing because it's hot, y'all. Um, any hoodles, uh, this is a thank you video. I have two people I want to thank for birthday presents. Um, one came from all the way across the sea, uh, Melanie, who was in Japan, she was in Tokyo and Kyoto not too long ago, a couple of months ago. Um, it's when she sent them to me, but you know, it was just my birthday, so we're going to pretend they're birthday presents, but she sent me this beautiful hair stick. Um, so we're slightly tangled. That's the only thing with diggly, dig, diggly bobs. They kind of, any hoodles. This beautiful hair stick, it's a Japanese fan, and then these earrings with the little origami fans. Beautiful, right? Yes, I know that was a whole lot of my face. You just saw. Uh, concentrate on that, less on the haggardness. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you so much, Melanie, because they're beautiful. And she was like, did you get them? I'm like, yeah, I just haven't said thank you yet because I suck. Um, the other person who actually for my birthday, uh, Miss Michaela, um, sent me some beautiful rose oil, uh, which is nice. You guys know I love my oils. And uh, a ton of Amish hairpins. Um, she even found a Tiffany blue box. How awesome is that? And when I say a ton, I mean a ton. She's in PA, so she actually lives like near Amish. So, uh, but she sent me, she is the one who originally sent me my very original Amish hairpins. Um, she sent me all straights because she knows they're my favorite. Miss Michaela. But this is so cool. Look at all my different sizes. I've got little bitty ones now too. So we can do some more like little tiny braided buns and things. So I have ideas. Um, but yes. So thank you. Uh, those are much needed. I think I might take one of the smaller packs and spray paint them gold just so we can hide them a little better. Um, but thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I love getting presents in the mail because um, I am a big dork and like a child. Um, but that's okay. I'm allowed to be childlike if I want to. It keeps me young, um, young-ish. I may not look young, but I feel young. Uh, it's one of them things. Any hoodles? Um, yes, uh, why didn't we get any videos earlier this week? Uh, I, I was, for my birthday, well, Joe let me order, pre-order Fallout 76 so that I will get it on that beta. Um, but uh, he also let me try out the Microsoft, uh, the Xbox, the Game Pass, because it was a dollar. And I'm, he's like, well, you know, try it out this month. If you like it, then we'll pay the $9.99 a month. You know, it's kind of like Gamefly used to be. Um, you can play the games as long as you want. I was like, well, let's see if there are any games I want to play. So I played Fable Anniversary. I finished it. Uh, I just started Fable 2 last night. Now, I have played Fable 2 and Fable 3, but I did not play original Fable because I didn't have an Xbox. I had a PS2 back in the day. So that was exciting. A game from ago that was a first time round for me was super cool. Um, and it was beautiful. The anniversary edition was beautiful it looked great on my x-bone so 
what? Yes, yeah, so I played Fable. I also decided to try Elder Scrolls Online because as you guys know, Fallout 76 is going to be online. Um, so I tried Elder Scrolls Online. I created three characters because I'm kind of weird. I love to create characters, um, but I like to do different play styles. So of course I have a sneaky dagger person. I have a big sword a good Templar person, and then I have a pure mage because I like different play styles. I have to say I'm a little disappointed with ESO, just for the simple fact that the, the quests are very short. Do you know what I mean? It's like, go do be done. Next, go do be done. Like it was, it didn't seem that, that they had as much story as I'm used to in a Bethesda or an Elder Scrolls game. Usually there's a lot more story behind things and it just, hmm, it was a little thin. So I'm hoping that Fallout is not as thin. Um, I haven't deleted it yet. I might play a little more and, and see, but yeah, it's not really my, my jam. Uh, the only other MMO that I've ever played. Uh, I have never played WoW, you guys. I've never played World of Warcraft because I knew it would just suck my life away. Uh, I actually did play a free one. Joe and I played it. Um, it was called Nine Dragons. I loved it because it was ancient Japan. Uh, and then it had all these like, m all this mysticism and cool stuff. And it was a grind fest, you know, hit your buttons, do your things. I really love to play a healer. Um, it was kind of my jam. I did have one tank, but then I had, I like, I like being a healer. Um, it's just the way of things. I like being more helpful, especially because Joe always plays tanks. So I let him tank and then I would just heal him so we could both level up. <laughs> it worked great. Um, any hoodles, uh, we really, really loved playing Nine Dragons. Um, if it was still supported, we might still be playing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, not so, not so much on the, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. It was not, I don't know. I was a little bummed. Uh, do you guys love it? Like, what am I doing wrong that I'm not having a good time? Maybe it's because I don't have any friends. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any friends who play. Well, I'm sure some of, I know some of you play. So maybe I just need to friend, I'm torn page everywhere, you guys. Also online, um, on Xbox, if you want to do a thing. Um, yeah, just add me, I guess. And maybe we can get together and play or do something. Although I'll tell you, I'm like, I'm low. One of my characters, I think might be a level 10. The other two are like level five or two or something. Like I just started them. Although I did come up with the greatest pun name ever. Are you ready? So my highest character is uh, Stormy Gale because of course it is. Um, and then my Templar character, who's just a wee baby, um, she is Sarah Fim, because you know, Templar, angelic. Huh. Yeah, you got it. Um, but my best one, my best one is my sorceress, right? Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Heidi, volatile. <laughs> I'm so clever, not really. I love puns. If you have been anywhere near my Facebook, you know I love puns. So yeah, um, I'm gonna, like stand back a little bit. Um, any hoodles. So yeah. Um, I tried. Eh. Hopefully Fallout's better. Hopefully. And look forward to more pun names for any Fallout characters I create because of course I'm gonna do, I can't. Too bad I can't roller skate. I would have excellent roller, roller derby girl names. You know, just yeah. Um, I don't know. Any hoodles. Um, so that's where I've been. I've been playing Fable. I'm not gonna lie to you and act like I was doing something else. <laughs> also, I have my follow up at the dentist. We've got a little plan in place. Uh, we can't do all the dental work I want because I can't afford it. Uh, after the first of the year should be able to though, we're gonna switch to the Cadillac plan of dental insurance. Uh, but until then, uh, we did have money saved up for other things, but I'm gonna get my mouth fixed. Because it turns out my teeth are still good. Um, my bottom teeth especially are in excellent condition. Um, but uh, where I had endo, 
I told you guys this, never mind. Yeah, the backs of my upper teeth are a little rough and I want them fixed before something bad happens. Um, not that I'm opposed to dentures, but after it took, you know, four hours to get two teeth out, I really don't want them to have to pull any other teeth if they don't have to. So we're just gonna save the ones I got. Um, with a Cadillac dental plan though, I am seriously thinking about getting the Invisalign and finally getting my teeth straight. My only problem is I want to keep my gap, but have otherwise straight teeth. I don't know if they can do that. I guess we'll have to see. Um, I'm debating if my insurance will cover it. That'll be, you know, next year though. We'll see. Maybe. Um, I've never had straight teeth and my wonky teeth. I like them because they're mine, but I also live in the U.S. and very, very straight white Pepsodent teeth are highly prized and I do get made fun of online for my teeth because um, they're wonky. Nobody overseas though ever does it because y'all aren't as obsessive as the U.S. is with teeth. <laughs> like you really aren't. But uh, in the U.S. it's like completely straight pearly white teeth or everything is terrible. It doesn't matter if your teeth are healthy if they're not white and perfectly straight. So I don't know. It's a little thing. It's anywho, it doesn't matter. Um, Ooh, there was a squirrel. There are the dogs. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you want to see him before I go? Um, uh, I could probably get Danny. Daenerys. 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 She's completely ignoring me. She's got her nose all up in the tomato plants. I could show you the garden if you want to see. Maybe we'll do a little tour. Um, it's not as much of a garden as I would have liked. Our pepper plants died because she didn't plant them outside because he hadn't built. We need another planter. Wow, this is like completely psycho. Uh, we're all over the place. Schizo, schizo, I should say. Schizophrenic, it's very schizophrenic today. Daenerys, come to mommy. Come on. It's like she knows the camera's here, so she doesn't want to come here. Come here. Don't make me come for you. Don't make me come for you. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It is sunny. And there might be squirrels. Squirrels? Did you see that? Squirrel? Oh, she perks up. She loves squirrels. <gasps> and there goes Cass. I don't know what he's bouncing at. What are you bouncing at, Cashel? Cashel? I don't know. He's just playing. Any hoodles, say hello. Uh, we'll do your little, you can see how our plants look. That's bug. Any hoodles, look forward to this hair tomorrow. I'm just scatterbrained now. I'll probably have to edit this, but I'll let you see Danny because she's adorable. As always. It's very sunny though, isn't it? I'll let you go. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow with this hairstyle. Uh, hopefully you will try it. Hopefully Shannon thinks it lives up to her name uh, because I think it's really interesting and cool and badass. Shannon did the book Badass Braids, right? So it's the Sivu plate because it was inspired by her book. Not in the book. This isn't hers. This one's mine. But it was inspired by hers. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Any hoodles. Uh, garden tour forthcoming. And uh, I love you. Mean it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Alrighty. So, this is asparagus. These are our leeks, which we have let seed um, because I would like them to come back. Uh, so, leeks, asparagus. Here is, I believe those are tomatoes that just, I'm not sure what happened. They're just there. Uh, these two uh, lettuces are just came back from last year. You see they're not actually in our plot. Uh, we did, this is where we had our lettuces last year, but we moved them because we rotate crops. So I don't know. Uh, they're just there. I'm probably going to eat them today or tomorrow. Um, onions, cucumbers. Uh, we are trying to make them go up, be better if you... I'm not going to zoom, but if you look back there, do you see the tiny baby cucumber? Oh, cucumbers. Uh, Joe usually makes pickles. 
So I'm pretty sure these are like pickling cucumbers. Here are some tomatoes. This looks insane. I'm gonna have to get him out here to uh, build a grid. There's also carrots that these things that look like Queen Anne's lace. These are carrots. Did you know that? I didn't know that. That uh, Queen Anne's lace are basically wild carrots. But now I know. So any hoodles here are our tomatoes are just growing insane. I really, really got to get him on the ball. Uh, our little cherry tomatoes are all ready to go. I've picked some of these. Oh, man, those are good. They taste like sunshine. So this is my raspberry bush. Uh, we have picked a few pints off of it already. Uh, see? Raspberries. It is a white raspberry. Yeah, like I said, there's some rando tomato plants there. That is my raspberry bush. It has lost its mind. Here's some raspberries. This one's pretty white. The white raspberry, so it's actually kind of a, where are you? It's kind of a pink. Delish. As I just eat things. Here's our lettuce, which is, I don't know. We have greens and then our lettuce. I have hacked at the lettuce though. We've eaten a lot of salad, so there are some peppers, but not very many. And I'm not sure what those are. Green onions, garlic, green onions. I have no idea. If there are green onions, I really need to use them. Here is chives and basil. Ooh, look at those. We have a lot of basil going. And then here are our buckets oh tomatoes um looks like we got some getting ready to ripen might have to take a couple of them green ones and make some fried green tomatoes but they are doing well and then this is two different kinds of peppers i'm not exactly sure what's over here oh, I, this is definitely a pepper i don't really know what that is i guess i'll have to ask joe i have no idea any hoodles that's we should have more peppers. Where this, see how there's two? Sorry, there's just random stuff. But I've got the two big ones and then the two little ones. There should be another one here, which is not there. Because Joe just hadn't built it. Um, and then we're gonna do two more. So we should have six overall, but the raspberry bush sure is happy. <laughs> Any hoodles? Okay, there, garden tour. Yada, yada, love you, bye.